lovelies and welcome back to another video. Everywhere I go, I'm playing bass dripping. Um, am I in focus? Let's see. So I made an Instagram story about this a few weeks ago and I got a lot of responses from you guys telling me how encouraging and helpful it was. So I thought I would turn it into a video and expand on this topic a bit more. But basically on my Instagram story, I shared this photo and this photo. And this photo is from when I was dieting and literally exercising over two hours a day and only eating 1200 calories a day for two months in order to be able to fit into this dress. And this photo is from a few weeks ago after recovering from my eating disorder and chronic dieting years. After overshooting my weight and speeding up my metabolism and healing my body again, I am just moving my body in a way that's enjoyable and I am literally eating 2,500 to up to 4,000 calories a day. So this just really demonstrates to me how much our metabolism can change and that you can really speed up your metabolism and that calorie restriction and dieting is not a sustainable solution um, to weight loss and that it is possible to maintain and even lose weight on a much higher amount of calories. So everyone is in very unique situations and I would definitely say completely different things to different people. So I can only really speak generally in this video and I would also say different things to people who are recovering from dieting versus recovering from an eating disorder. So just keep that in mind. So if you don't know my story already, um, I went on my first diet at age 14 and after that first diet I ended up gaining back the weight so I went on another diet which then turned into chronic dieting where I would go on a diet, lose weight, and then gain back the weight, usually plus some, and then I would end up going on another diet, losing the weight, gaining back the weight, plus some, and each time I went on a diet it became harder and harder to lose weight and harder and harder to maintain that lower weight. And in this photo, this was the point where I was still just chronic dieting, and I had already been on several diets in the past, so at this point I really really had to push it in order to lose any weight. So. I was literally only eating 1200 calories a day, that wasn't even my net. I was just eating a total of 1200 calories a day, so my net was probably much lower than that, um, which I honestly have no idea how I did that because 1200 calories is literally my breakfast now. But at that point I was walking half an hour to school and then half an hour back from school and then I would bike 15 minutes to a set of stairs and then do intensive stair climbing for an hour and then bike back home again and then do it all again the next day. Sorry, there's like construction work outside right now, so sorry if the audio is really crappy. Ugh. Yeah, sorry about the noise. And so I did this for two months straight in order to be able to fit into that dress for graduation. And then literally immediately after graduation, I just gained 10 pounds, like seemingly like overnight. My body just rebounded from that so fast. So I ended up gaining back the weight plus more. Um, and then this chronic dieting ultimately turned into disordered eating and then ultimately an eating disorder. Thankfully, I only had this eating disorder for about a year before deciding to recover and if it weren't for the amazing videos that I found here on YouTube I probably would never have recovered. I am incredibly grateful for the internet and for YouTube because I found so many people that had gone through the exact same thing that I was going through. I found so many people that had gone through this healing process so I really would not have had the motivation to stick through this um, healing process if it weren't for the people that I found online. And so that's why I want to share my story because I know that so many people are still in this position where they are stuck yo-yo dieting or they have an eating disorder and they just don't know how to get out of it. So that is ultimately what the purpose of my channel is. I'm here to help people get out of dieting, chronic dieting, disordered eating, or an eating disorder. But anyways, in recovery, I ended up going through extreme hunger where I literally ate 10,000 calories a day in the beginning. Um, and then gradually, as I responded to my appetite, it gradually decreased over time. And so the first time in recovery, even though I was literally eating 10,000 calories a day in the beginning, and if you were to do the math, I should have gained over 100 pounds in recovery, but I ended up only gaining 30 pounds the first time in recovery. So it really goes to show you that 
our body needs a lot more calories to recover than we think that it does. But anyways, I'm getting kind of sidetracked and that's for a whole other video. So unfortunately, I ended up relapsing and then my second time in recovery, I gained up to 164 pounds and then I ended up plateauing at around 161 pounds. So now I have been in recovery since December of 2015 or like January of 2016. So I've been in recovery for over three years now and it has ultimately taken me that long to go back to the weight that I am now. And so this whole time that I've been in recovery, I've been eating 2,500 to 4,000 calories a day since my weight started plateauing. And now I weigh about 135 pounds. So I've lost almost 30 pounds by eating 2,500 to up to 4,000 calories a day. And so this honestly just absolutely blows my mind that I now still fit in the same dress while eating 2,500 to 4,000 calories a day versus seven years ago when I was chronic dieting and literally eating 1200 calories a day and exercising for over two hours a day. So yeah, this just really shows to me that you really can increase your metabolism and the power of healing and recovery. But of course, keep in mind that we all have different set points and so if you have not overshot your set point, then you will not need to naturally lose weight. It was just that in my case, I had overshot my set point in recovery and that's why my body naturally took me back down to my set point again. So in terms of speeding up your metabolism, if you're just recovering from dieting, it may be best to do a reverse dieting approach. There's lots of videos on that here on YouTube where basically you just gradually start increasing your calories. And so basically this gives your body time to adjust to an increase in calories and your body will be able to increase its metabolism and you'll experience like very minimal weight gain, if any weight gain at all. However, if you are in my case and you're recovering from an eating disorder, I personally could not reverse diet. I tried this many times to gradually increase my calories, but it honestly made me feel even more crazy and made me really susceptible to relapsing. So in my case, I really just had to go all in. And the first time in my recovery, this did not cause any overshoot in my set point. So even going all in, you may not overshoot your set point. But in my second time in recovery, I also took the all in approach and I did overshoot my set point. So I really can't say what's gonna happen to your body or what the best approach is for you. The noise outside is so annoying. It is important to keep in mind that if you are underweight or you're recovering from a restrictive eating disorder and you're planning on increasing your intake and recovering, um, you do have to be very careful about refeeding syndrome. So it is shown that if you're eating under 1600 calories a day, you want to gradually increase your calories to 1600 calories a day. And then after that point, it does seem to be safe to just eat as much as you want basically after that without um, running into issues with refeeding syndrome. But definitely be very careful and you do want to increase your calories gradually if you are severely underweight or recovering from a restrictive eating disorder. So I think this video is going to be pretty long as it is, so I'm just going to give a broad overview of what you want to do to start increasing your metabolism, but I'm going to go into detail in part two of this video. So basically, essentially what you want to do is the exact opposite of what we have been told to do to lose weight. So instead of exercise more and eat less, we want to exercise less and start eating more. And again, depending on your personal situation, it may be better to gradually increase or just go all in and follow your appetite and respond to your extreme hunger. You also want to slow down on whatever exercise you're doing. If you are recovering from an eating disorder, I recommend stopping exercise completely. I did do very light exercise in parts of my recovery. I did very light walking, I did very light yoga, and very light swimming. But ideally, it's really important to give your body time to rest and just recover. If you're recovering from 
dieting and you still naturally have energy in you, I would still reduce the amount of exercise that you're doing if you find that you're eating a very low amount of calories to maintain your weight and if you are engaging in a lot of physical activity. If you're doing super intensive HIIT workouts or you're hitting the gym seven days a week, I would really reduce that. And if you're hoping to increase your metabolism, I would trade cardio for weightlifting instead. But depending how far you've gone with dieting, it might just be best to take a break from the gym altogether and just give yourself a chance to rest. Especially if you're feeling tired and you feel like you're forcing yourself to go to the gym, you should definitely just rest. Allow yourself to rest for however long you need. And if you really hate the gym, I really recommend just moving your body in a way that's enjoyable. So instead of taking your car to the grocery store that's 10 minutes away, um, just walk instead. Or try to just bike places instead of taking your car. Another thing is instead of forcing yourself to run on the treadmill for an hour, join a fitness class instead or join a dance class or a yoga class. Or you could do something outside like hiking or skiing or skating. So something that you enjoy instead. Things that are also really important for increasing your metabolism are to reduce stress wherever possible in your life. So again, increasing the amount of food that you're eating and reducing the amount of intensive exercise that you're doing will also help to reduce stress, but try to find other things in your life that can help you to reduce stress. And one of the most important things is to get enough sleep. Again, increasing your food and reducing exercise can really help you to get more sleep and get more deeper sleeps, but really make an effort to go to bed early. You can wear an eye mask if you need to, and really make sure that your room that you're sleeping in is pitch black. It's also important to not be on your phone an hour before bed because the blue light on our phone can really interrupt with our sleep. And the last really important thing is to shift your focus. So rather than focusing on how you look, it's really important to focus on how you feel. So I would really get away from any sort of calorie counter, fitness tracker, or weight scale. Weighing yourself every day can really mess with your head because especially when we're in recovery from chronic dieting or an eating disorder, the scale can fluctuate a lot and especially in the beginning we can be gaining a lot of water weight and we can also be gaining more muscle so we may see increases on the scale and that can freak us out and make us want to relapse and go back to old behaviors again. So I think it's really important to stay away from the scale and really shift your mindset from a weight loss mindset to a health mindset. So focusing on how you're feeling rather than how you look. So I just wanted to share my personal experience with increasing my metabolism with you guys. And I just wanted to give you a general overview on how to start increasing your metabolism. But in the next video, I'm going to go into much more detail on how you can start increasing your metabolism. So please stay tuned for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this was helpful for you guys. I just wanna give a shout out to two people. I wanna give a shout out to Lauren. I'll leave her username down here. And I also want to give a shout out to Kelsey. I'll leave her username down here as well. These people are supporting me on Patreon, so I just want to say thank you so much to you two. Through my Patreon, I have a private Facebook support group, and I also offer email support as well. So if you would like more support from me and help with your unique situation, then definitely check out my Patreon. I will leave a link for that in the description box down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Don't forget to be kind to yourself. And until next time, peace out, guys. Bye. Everywhere I go, I'm plant based, dripping. Got them both the new Bruce Lee. Roy, I got the glow, kicking knowledge to your chick. I let her swim until she's so. Boy, she trying to.